welcome to Linux help tutorial I am going to explain about how to install and set up Monit tool Monit is a free open source and useful tool to monitor and manage the server processes files directories permissions file systems and services like Apache MySQL Nginx FTP SSH etc it provides a user-friendly web interface where you can directly view the system status and set up the processes using the HTTPS web server or using the command line interface. You must have a web server like Apache or Nginx installed on your system to access and view the Monit web interface. Using the Monit tool you can start a process if it is not running and restart a process and stop a process. You can also monitor the files, directories and permissions of a file or directory. Now we can see the installation of the Monit tool. To install Monit tool, use the following command. sudo apt-get install monit. Now the monit tool is installed. Now we can configure the monit tool. For configuring the monit tool, you need to go to the monit tool configuration file. The command is sudo nano slash etc monit slash monit rc and scroll down and you need to uncomment the four lines and add two lines to the file you need to uncomment this uncomment this uncomment these four lines and add two lines hello space at on it enter hello space at users space read only and we can save the file press ctrl plus o and then enter now the file is saved now press ctrl plus x to exit the file now we need to start the monit tool. The command is sudo slash etc init.t monit space start. The tool is started. Now we can view the monit tool in the browser. Open the browser. Now we need to start the Apache server etc init.t Apache 2 start now open the browser and type localhost colon 2812 now enter the username and password the default username and password is username is admin the password is monit you can change the default username and password in the configuration file and click ok now the monit tool is opened you can see the host name of the system you can see the load average of the system and the memory usage swap usage and the time of the data collected now we can add services to the monit tool for adding the services we need to go to the configuration file sudo nano slash etc monit monit rc and go to the last for adding the mysql server at the following lines check process mysql with pid file slash var slash run slash mysql slash mysql dot pid in group mysql start program equal to base double quotes slash etc slash init dot d slash mysql base start close the double quotes stop program equal to double quotes slash etc slash init dot d slash mysql stop double quotes now I am going to add the SSH server check process SSH 
with PID file slash var slash run plus ssh dot pid dot program double quotes slash etc slash init dot t slash ssh space start double quotes stop program double quotes slash etc init dot t slash ssh stop double quotes now press control plus o and enter to save the file then press control plus x to exit the file and now to check the monit syntax for errors you can use the following command sudo monit hyphen t if you have some errors you will get the errors you need to solve the errors to continue there is no ssh service so i am going to install the ssh service the command is sudo apt-get install ssh and give us to download and install the package now, now we can start the services sudo slash etc init.t mysql start the next services ssh start now check the syntax of the monit configuration file sudo etc monit sudo monit hyphen t the syntax is ok now we can restart the monit service sudo slash etc init.t slash monit restart and the monit service is restarted there is a small change in the configuration file go to the last this is mysql d and the pid file and the path is var run mysql d mysql d dot pid and in ssh the check process sshd and the pid file path is var run sshd dot pid and after editing the file just save the file and exit and restart the monit service and after restarting the monit service open the browser and refresh the page and you can see the mysql sshd service running you can click the process to view the process information you can see the process id parent process id uid gid and the process uptime and the usage of the process you can add more configuration to the monit configuration file service configuration code is added in the file you can verify that you can add more configuration to the monit configuration file monit tool is successfully installed thank you for watching